Hey everybody, welcome to the last of the new big content updates coming in the next patch, tracking. So tracking in a way is very similar to what gathering is. At the Toolmaker, you can go and create a tracking kit, which is equivalent to just another gathering tool. It's time for tracking, and then you go out into the world and you track different animals. If we open the destiny board here, we can see that we have a new tree in our destiny board dedicated to tracking. It basically has two sections. You have the mastery, which just allows you to use higher level of the tracking kits and track higher level monsters, as well as give you some little bit of bonuses. And then each monster in specific is kind of like its own you can resource. You can think of it like that. It each has its own specializations. You can specialize in just hunting the golems or just hunting the hawks to get those extra bonuses for them specifically. In terms of how to actually go about tracking, you just go to any red zone or black zone in the open world and use your tracking kit. You will channel for a short time and then it'll have this really big AOE search radius around you basically that will show all of the tracks that are in that radius and you can search them for what type they are and what tier they are and for what group size uh, they are. Now you don't have to search for them like this. These tracks just exist in the open world so you can just come across them as well. You don't need to specifically search for them. If you have the appropriate tier of tracking kit, you can begin to track the mob. And this basically starts like a little mini game. It will show you the next area that the mob has gone to, this little circle on the map. And you can go there and try to find the mob there. You'll either find tracks that lead you to the next part, the next place where it is, or you'll find the mob itself. If it's the mob, usually you'll do some damage to it and then it will run away and you'll have to find it again or find its tracks again and continue on the process. Each of these steps that you do gives you fame towards your tracking tree and also killing the mob at the end gives uh, more fame. For tracking, you can only track one mob at a time. If you go to a different trail, you have to give up the one you're currently on. So you can only track one creature at the same time. And each creature, each track is specifically limited by the group size that it says. So there's like one to three. If you have more than three people, you cannot track that mob or four to eight if you're not within that range of four to eight you could not track that mob so like a solo player cannot track one of the four to eight mobs so basically the gameplay cycle is like you can see here sped up you find a track and then you just go back and forth all across the zone going to the next track over and over and over and over again until you eventually find the mob and then eventually kill it and get its loot in the dev talk they said that it could go to other maps as well although in my experience i haven't done it too much but none of the mobs ever left the map and it was always in the same map for me so I don't know if they changed that or what's going on with that. It also seems like the tier of the tracking mobs isn't necessarily correlated to the zone tier because I found a tier 8 one in a tier 4 zone and in a higher tier zone tier 7 I couldn't find anything above tier 5. So I don't really know exactly how the tiers are of the tracking mobs are decided but it doesn't seem to be too correlated or restricted within uh, the tier of zone. When you finally do kill the tracking mob, the rewards you get, again, are a little bit of fame for your tracking tree. And then you also get two unique types of new items. One of them is to create the new shape-shifting weapons. So they all require specific artifacts that are dropped by these tracking mobs. And then second is new alchemical ingredients for upgrading or enchanting potions up to point one, two, and three. In terms of leveling up your tracking and what it gives you, uh, you get something called tracking efficiency. I honestly don't really know what this is. Uh, it probably gives you some sort of buff to your tracking, uh, but the bonus chance to engage any tracking target with the next tracking step is a very good buff as it can take anywhere from a data mind it said two steps to a hundred steps before you actually find the mob and it lets you kill you so it can take quite a long time if you have very low spec and it goes all the way up to like a hundred or something hopefully it's not actually a hundred but this spec is going to be really helpful for letting you uh catch them much faster Okay, and that's basically it. Honestly, tracking is pretty simple. It's very similar to gathering in the sense that it's basically just going to be one of those things that you can do when you go out into the open world black zone to make a little extra money, except instead of focused on sort of AFK gathering resources, it's more focused on combat. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed and found this helpful. If you did, do all the things you do to YouTube videos and let me know what you think of tracking, and I'll see you in the next one.